Whether you are a client or house hunting for yourself, there are certain types of homes I always advise against buying. Over the years, both in real estate and personally, I've seen my fair share of houses. Some are definite no-goals. This week, I will share with you the types of houses you should avoid. I hope this helps you save money and avoid costly mistakes. Let's dive in. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to share them below. I want to hear your thoughts, even if you disagree. Let's get started. Yes, old homes have charm, their craftsmanship, their architecture, and their unique features. But owning one can be a nightmare. Many old homes have had their pipes replaced over the years, but not always completely. You might end up with leak pipes which need to be fully replaced, costing tens of thousands of rents. Similarly, old homes often had knob and tube wiring, which is outdated and unsafe. Even if the wiring was replaced in the 1950s or earlier, the installation only lasts about 70 years. Wiring an entire house is costly. Asbestos used for insulating pipes and floor tiles is hazardous and expensive to remove. You will need a professional which adds to the cost. Also, older homes can have Dangerous features like laundry suits, damp waiters, steep staircase, low ceilings, and non-working fireplace. Modifying or renovating these features to make the house safe is another expense. So, while old homes have their charm, their maintenance can be overwhelming. Be wary of that. especially in South Africa. Steer clear of homes in 100-year and 500-year flood plains, even if these homes have never flooded. Here are the main reasons to avoid them. 1. Flood insurance in South Africa can be quite high, adding significantly to your annual expenses. A 100-year flood zone means there is a chance of flooding once every 100 years and a 500 year zone means once every 500 years with increasing severity of weather patterns the risk is real regardless of past flooding history two even if a homeowner assures you they've never had water issues there is no guarantee it won't happen to you South Africa has seen an increase in severe weather events making these rare flood zones more unpredictable. Consider the severe floods in KwaZulu-Natal and the Eastern Cape in recent years. Many areas not previously prone to flooding experience devastating water damage, highlighting the unpredictability and risk of living in a flood-prone area. In short, if you are considering a house near rivers or coastal areas in South Africa, the flood risk is even higher. Avoid at all costs. In South Africa, properties with underground oil tanks, even if they've been decommissioned are risky. Despite paperwork showing the tank is clean, there is still a risk of soil contamination. I know someone who ended up with a massive bill of 250,000 rand to clean up the soil. If the seller won't remove the tank and retest the soil, it's not worth the gamble. I once had a client who bought a flipped home and within months, they were facing major plumbing issues 
that the previous owner had masked with cosmetic fixes. Be cautious of homes flipped by companies or speculators. Many investors are inexperienced, hire inexperienced contractors and cut corners. Pay attention to cosmetic details and even moldings or a sloppy paint job are major red flags suggesting they rush through the renovation. Check the history of the home's sale on sites like Lightstone or Property24. If it was bought cheaply recently and is now being sold for much more, be cautious. Shoddy cosmetic work often indicates shoddy work elsewhere in the house. While a built-in fish tank or a secret room might seem cool at first, they can become burdens when you want to change or remove them later. These features can cost a lot to alter or remove and may not appeal to future buyers, hurting your resale value. For example, a 300,000 rent cosmetic kitchen might be impressive, but it could limit your pool of potential buyers and reduce your home's value in the long run. Stick to one universal appealing features to avoid future headaches and expenses. Here is a time-saving tip. When checking out houses, ask your real estate agent for the seller's disclosure from the MLS. This document gives you important details about the home's history, like the age of the roof, the plumbing system, and any past termite damage. Also, your agent can check if the house is in a flood zone, which you won't find on Property24. This information helps you make informed decisions and avoid potential problems. To recap, avoid this type of houses in South Africa. 1. Homes over 100 years old. 2. Homes in flood zones. 3. Properties with underground oil tanks. 4. Flipped homes by companies or speculators. 5. Homes with extravagant cosmetic features. By steering clear of these risky property types will save yourself from unexpected repairs and financial strain. Thanks for tuning in to get your real estate reality check. If you are new here, hit subscribe and like the video. If you need a real estate agent, comment I need a professional agent below. I'm Echo Green. And from my hand to my head, salute. Be a legacy builder and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.